Well, obviously, this time the, the difference this time is the number of countries that have participated. We have 24 uh, countries participating from all over Europe and even up to America. We have even included one one country from Latin America, which, which is Venezuela, which is the first time we have a Latin American country uh, participating in Bahrain. So the number of countries are increasing, which is encouraging, and that leads uh, or encourages us to further think of upgrading the uh, tournament from G1 to G2 next year, inshallah. Obviously, Bahrain Open is uh, within the WTF calendar, which means it's, uh, it's ranked. Any player who participates in it and, and gets a medal basically gets ranking. Why that is important? Because of the new system within WTF where people need points to, part, uh, to uh, uh, qualify for the Olympics. So that's the difference between the new system and the old system. In order for you to, quali to qualify, you need points, which means you need to participate in ranked tournaments all over the place. Bahrain is G1. Uh, which is the starting uh, the starting level of, of being ranked. Uh, any player who wins the gold medal gets 10 points, which adds to your to your uh, overall ranking level. And hence, people are eager to participate to get the points. Where would it make a difference if we if we move from G1 to G2 next year, inshallah? G2 means 20 points, which means more people are going to be even more eager to participate in order to for them to add these 20 points, which adds uh, to their. Uh, chances uh, uh, qualifying for the Olympics. Uh, we are very proud of this, champi of this uh, championship. Uh, our federation ranks second in terms of federations or associations within Bahrain getting medals uh, globally.